Welcome back everybody. Today I'm testing out a product I've had a lot of requests for over the years. I've seen it online, but I've never tried it myself. It also has one of the best names ever, and that is the Shred Machine. This device supposedly allows you to shred meats and lettuce and other things with just a couple of turns. It sounds pretty good if it works, so let's find out in today's video. Before I get started, let's flash back to the unboxing and see how that went. This is the Shred Machine. They say it shreds meat in seconds. I paid $25.99 for this. They say it easily shreds chicken, beef, pork, fish, eggs, lettuce, and more. No sharp blades, juices stay with the meat. Just a few rotations. Let's see what it looks like inside. It looks kind of barbaric in there, but maybe it'll be uh, good for these purposes. Inside there's a warning that says no bones, tender, well-cooked meat only. Now the claims are that it can shred meat in seconds with just a few twists. Non-skid base right here, easy grip handles. They say just put the meat inside, cover it with a lid and rotate a few times. Now people on Amazon who liked this, a lot of people said it saves time and shreds meat in seconds. Some people didn't like it and said that it didn't work as expected. You have to still have to shred the meat after you're done using it. Read over these minuscule instructions and get started. Now I know this is primarily used for things like chicken and other meats. It even says it shreds meat right there on the instruction booklet. But before I get to the meats, I want to try something a little bit different. I want to try lettuce and see how that works. Let's see if it can start off with lettuce and then we'll move up to the main course and we'll try some chicken and other things. The way it works is you have these kind of spikes on either side here. It looks like some sort of a medieval torture device, but it's not. Place your meat or lettuce there, put the top on, give it some turns, and supposedly you're gonna have shredded end result. We shall see about that. There's also a lot of different models online. This is the one that seemed to be the most popular. It's a Fusion Brands, it's Amazon's Choice. The ratings are pretty good, so this is one, one I went with. I saw quite a few others out there that weren't as highly rated, so maybe there's a difference, I'm not really sure. But as far as doing some lettuce goes, now this is gonna be way too big, you can't put that on there. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna cut this in thirds and just put it and kind of lay it flat that way. A couple cuts and then we'll just shred each third. At least that's the idea. This is a couple inches thick. I'm not even sure if that's too thick or not. We shall see. It kind of seems like it might be. Press the top on here. This might be too thick. Let me cut this in half. All right, now this, there's no way this is too thick. Here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Now we're making progress. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Okay. Now that looks like some pretty good shredded lettuce. Let's keep going. It kind of takes a little bit to get it started, but then once you get it started, it kind of loosens up. All right. Okay. I think we're off to it. We're, we're kind of getting on a roll here. Now, here's another thick piece. I want to try a thick piece again. Oh yeah. Now they say, at least for meats, if you have some that isn't shredded, you just kind of readjust it and, and keep going. All right, got, I got one big piece here, but otherwise pretty good. It's the last piece here. All right, pull the unshredded pieces off the top, put them back in there, a couple more turns. Uh, there's the end result. What do you guys think? Pretty good. I mean, there's, I think that some people could probably do just as well and just as fast with a knife, but not everybody's good at shredding lettuce, so the result's pretty good. The other thing to consider is just no real adjustment. You don't, can't get any finer shredding than that. This is kind of all you get. It took a couple tries with the lettuce to get it down to how the motion is, but now that I've got kind of my practice lettuce out of the way, it's time to move up to the main event, and that is some chicken. All right, so the preliminaries out of the way. I think the lettuce went pretty well. I mean, if you like that style of shredding, not everybody likes that style of shredding. But let's move up to the big leagues now and try some chicken breast right out of the crock pot. Should be easy, let's see. All right, let's try a standard chicken breast, placing it on the unit itself. Put the lid on there, and twist. Let's see what we got here. Oh wow, not bad. This is what we got. I think that was pretty good. I don't even see any pieces that need to be re-shredded. I guess you can kind of move it around if you, if you aren't happy with that. Just give it a couple more for good measure here. Right, I think that worked pretty well. Let's, let's keep going. I've got a couple of small pieces here. I'll put those on here at the same time. And Bailey's down there begging. She's, she's got to have some. Let's see what happens. I think they said go six to eight 
semi turns. I think I went six that time. All right, it looks pretty good. Now there's a big chunk right here that looks like it needs to be shredded, but most of it seems like it's pretty good. I'm just kind of mix it around and do a couple more turns. It's not perfectly uniform, but I guess it doesn't really have to be. But to me, it looks pretty well, well shredded. I've got a really small piece and a, and a bigger piece here. Let's see how these do. All right, what we see, we got here. That was one piece. I, that one probably needs to be done a little bit better. For the most part, it's pretty good. All right, what do you guys think? Right, here's the, the final result. There's a couple of bigger chunks in here, and not a lot. For the most part, it's pretty well shredded though. Some people prefer those bear claws. Some people don't like them. If you don't like them, this might be a pretty good option, but we've got more to try, so let's keep going. All right, so the chicken worked pretty well, but how does it work for other types of meats? Let's try this. And this is a nice big old slab of chuck roast. This one came right out of the crock pot recently. It's still warm. Let's see how it goes. Placing the chuck roast on the shred machine. Put the top on here. See what happens. And it looks like there's a few pieces in here that need to be re-shredded, but it's a pretty good start, I think. For the most part, it's pretty well shredded. There's a couple of larger chunks, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. So far, the shred machine is on a roll. Let's try something else. Bailey's right here. Bailey's right there. All right, for my final test, I want to try something that the instructions don't really touch on, and that is if you can do a thicker meat on there. So I've got a pork loin roast right here, which is kind of on the thicker side. I've got it cut in two. It's certainly thicker than this device is, so I want to see if you can do it without having to cut that in half. So let's try it out. Here's how thick this, this piece is. It's kind of thick. I'm going to place it right in the center here, kind of press it down a little bit, and see if I can do it without having to cut it in half. Here we go. Oh. I was kind of sliding around a little bit, but after a few passes, it kind of got easier. Oh, look what we have here. Look at this. I think it actually worked without having to cut it in half. Now I've got some stuck on the lid here. I probably have to redo that. Just kind of rearrange it so it's on the center. Do a couple more passes. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good to me. That was only what, 10 seconds? Not too bad. All right, for the, my final test here, this is the thickest piece of of pork we got here, very thick, pretty large. Let's try it out. So when I press it down, it doesn't go all the way down. And the first couple turns are pretty tough and the, it's kind of sliding, but after you get it kind of going, it's still, it's, this one's sliding more than usual, I think because there's so much in there. All right, once it gets going, it kind of loosens up. Now it's easy. There we go. That's just, it's like overflowing. I don't have much on the top here. This doesn't look like it even really needs to be redone. Maybe a little bit. And the final result, I think that looks pretty well shredded. All right, so as far as cleaning this goes, I just rinsed it off in between each use. I put in the dishwasher at the end and it came out quite well for that. But my very low expectations with this were pretty much exceeded on almost everything I tried. So I'm pretty happy to report that the Fusion Brands Shred Machine exceeded my expectations. All the meat shredded pretty easily except for that last piece, but I kind of overfilled it. I was kind of pushing the limits to see how much could fit in there. That was about the limit. Once you get to that point, it's kind of hard to turn, but otherwise everything else in there kind of flew through it. The lettuce it worked well on, but not everybody likes that particular style of shredded lettuce, but it, you can use it for that. But overall, I think that if you like what you see in the videos, this particular model seems to work quite well. But if you've used a product like this, tell us what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.